Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mount weather, my bullet points. What do I expect as we slide towards Christmas? Well, the first issue is this East Coast storm system. It's very warm. It's got all rain and a lot of wind. I'll show that to you coming up, but that lasts through the 19th. There'll be a, a brief change over to snow in the Northeast. We'll look at that. Now, out west, it's a waiting game. We're getting blasted with all this Pacific warm air. It's abnormally warm. So the first thing that comes in is this California trough, this area of low pressure, 1218 to 1220. It moves moisture into the Sierra, but we're talking very high snow levels of nine to 10,000 feet. So if you're not above that, you're not gonna see the moderate to heavy snow accumulation. Below that, we're talking a lot of rain. In Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Light snow, I don't have anything major at this point, but light snow after or on or after 1220. I'll show you what that looks like coming up. The exception is Colorado, New Mexico, and southern Utah for that matter, where we're going to have two pieces of energy that could merge. One coming out of Pacific Northwest, another one is southern track low. The two could merge over southern Colorado. I'll show you what could be the worst or best case scenario for that coming up, and that would be 1224 and 1225. Let me show you the East Coast storm. Here it is on water vapor. So with this, the oranges and reds on this represent your drier air aloft. Your moisture is in your blues, your whites, your greens. There's that low, and it's a strong low. Uh, spinning and it's going to go right up the east coast again with a lot of rain and a lot of wind. Out west here comes our next storm system. This trough will push moisture in the Sierra but it is just blasting the west with warm air right now. There's just no cold air. It's all bottled up up here in Canada right now because that's where the northern branch is running that northern jet. It's keeping it locked up up in that area. Here's the forecast radar and satellite so that's the situation by this afternoon. Um, there's Monday morning at 6. Here comes the moisture. You can see it hitting the Sierra. Uh, but again, 9 to 10,000 foot uh, rain snow line. So there's uh, 1220 in the morning. Here's 1220 in the afternoon. Here's Thursday 1220 in the, uh, 21 in the morning. Notice what's happening here. That low is diving to the south through Arizona. Now here's 1222. Let me take you back to this. Here's 1222. So a couple of things happening. There's a new low hitting the Pacific Northwest and there's a southern track low. Again, those two areas of energy could merge if the timing's right over Colorado, New Mexico, sometime around 1224, 1225. That would be a worst or best case scenario. Um, let me show you what the jet looks like during this period. So this is 1218, trough moving into California. Look at the northern branch. All, all that uh, cold air is bottled up in Canada. Here's the second phase. This is 1225. Big jet streak coming out the Pacific, but look at Colorado and New Mexico. Very strong southern branch of the jet. That's where we're going to have that potential area of low pressure spinning up. And look at um, the forecast on 1225, the forecast radar. Again, this is what we would call uh, a worst case or best case scenario. Assuming everything comes together, you're going to get that low that spins up, and we could have snow across uh, Colorado, northern New Mexico, snow coming through Wyoming, snow coming out of Utah, and all that coming together. This may not happen, but it's a possibility. Um, as far as the numbers go with this, 1217 through 1219, again, snow in the Sierra, but very high up. Um, these are just mid-mountain numbers, so you're going to have more accumulation the higher you go up. And it looks like light accumulations up in BC. Phase number two, this is 1220 through 1222. Again, very light accumulations in the Sierra. If you go higher up, you're going to get more than what's shown here. And some decent accumulations in BC in those purple shaded areas. The final phase is, again, assuming everything comes together, um, you'll get these kinds of numbers. If it doesn't, then the numbers will be lighter. Uh, but you're looking at potentially some good snowfall, 1224, 1225, Colorado, New Mexico, southern Utah. That's where you would go for the best snow. Out east, boy, it is just, it's mainly rain again. When this storm system comes through, through the 19th, there would be a brief changeover on the 19th, maybe some light accumulations. And then after that, things really just dry out. The pattern's dry through Christmas across the northeast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.